so uh, this is going to be a very elaborate video, I think. Maybe. So let's go to the Blood Grove. We have to get... We're getting another Devotion Shrine in here. So, um... <clears throat> this is a Devotion Shrine that I only really... I don't actually think I go for it on anything with any character right now. <laughs> it's it's such an out-of-the-way shrine that... And it requires a whole quest to do. That I only really do it as a quest for fun. Like, I, I don't actually do this Devotion Shrine as my, like, standard array of Devotion Shrines go. Oh, we got so lucky with this. Let's grab that up. Put a portal down. Kill these guys. Go in here. Because you have to go into both of the rifts. Both of the rifts and wander around until you find the Rune Stone and the Spirit of Mogdragon. Then you gotta have an Ancient Heart. Then you gotta go clear his his shrine, which is a fighting shrine. That's actually not the bad part about it. I actually like doing that one because it's a crazy ass shrine fight. But the uh, the problem comes in where you end up with uh, oh man, this guy. The problem is it's a lot to actually finish the shrine. So I almost always skip it with characters. <laughs> it's a fun quest to do once, or to do on ultimate for fun. But on normal and elite, I I just completely skip by it. Like when we get when we get into elite for this guy. Um, well, here's the exit. Not that I'm actually going to use the exit. I'm probably just going to escape out. But uh. <laughs> When we actually get to Elite and Ultimate, the only way I'm ever going to finish this quest off is if I'm doing it for fun, or if I happen upon doing this rift just to do it to farm. Otherwise, it is totally nothing I'm, I'm interested in doing. Um, these rifts, as I mentioned kind of before, they're pseudo-roguelike. Um, they're only, like, one level. But, uh, if you die, if you die in the game, you die for real, and you have to, you have to basically go back, um, to town and run back to the rift unless you put your portal right outside it. You can't portal inside the rift, um... I'm going to bypass Lightning Totem for now. I don't actually think... Um, I might work them in. I might not. On the fence still about using... Oh, there we go. So, uh... Yep. Ruined stone... Ruined. Not ruined. Oh, a treasure trove. Kablamo! I guess it's not in Normal Veteran. It might just be Ultimate only. So rather than walk, rather than walk all the way back to the, the exit, just, I just escape out after I do my business in those places. I guess I can just portal from here. Um, so, oh no, I can't. So, uh, the next place is a humdinger, I'll say. A humdinger, all right. Uh, I love the planes of strife. What are you talking about? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying I hate them. I love them. I'm my favorite area in the game. No, I'm just kind of being a little bit of a jerk. But, um, actually, this area is really fun if you're not an Aether, an Aether-based character.
If you are an Aether based character, ouch. <laughs> so this this is a battlefield that is filled with nothing but Aetherials. And I when I say filled, I mean filled with Aetherials. If you ever want to farm up your ethereal reputation, this is where you go for it. It's it's where uh, <laughs> it's where the Locksbeer Night Mage is. You you can actually fight Val Valderin is out here occasionally, rarely. Um, And if there's ever a place I would say is infested with ethereals, it's this place. We're doing we're doing kind of a two-part um, exploration here. The first is to get through this area, which is easier said than done because it's like like I said, packed with ethereals. And uh, the second is to find the rift that's in this place. I'll point out it's I think I have its spawn locations more or less memorized. But yeah, um, this place can actually be really fun if you, like I said, if you're not playing an Aether build, it's actually really fun, but, because it's just like heavy enemy density. So I believe the first place it can spawn... It'll be in these, like, craters, and I think the first place it spawns is right here. Looky, look at that. Um, this can also spawn, it's like, I obviously don't have the map up. I believe it's a place right here and right here, or maybe over there, I don't remember. And then the Locksmere Night Mage is over here, in case anyone was curious about that asshole. Should have put a portal out right there, but I didn't. That's okay. Maybe we'll die in here. Yeah, it's like, maybe we'll die in here and just get put right back out there. Now this area, I don't actually need to do the escape reset because it has, because obviously both of these areas, like everything in Grim Dawn, is uh, not procedurally generated, so it's one map. But this one, like you know where the exit is because there's a second floor to this one. And that's what we're gonna be looking around for after we explore around here for the. Spirit of Mog Dragon. Because I think the Spirit of Mog Dragon can spawn on either level. But in case anyone's wondering, um, wherever you drop in, you can just run like up and right, and you'll eventually come to this bridge. Or up and left, sorry. You'll eventually come to this bridge that will have. Um, that That is like right where. Like you cross the bridge, and then you're pretty much right where the ending is. You go to the second level, which is called the Obsidian Throne, which is metal as fuck, and then you'll end up in a, there's, there's a unique spawn in there, and then you, you fight him, and the exit is right behind him, obviously. You know, I may switch to Haunt on my Spellbreaker. Like, just as an aside, I'm, I'm using it here, and I'm like, I forgot that I really like the ability it has, even though it's not technically a Mythic Relic. And he has Nemesis right now, but I think it might be worth switching it. Ah! <laughs> Come on, walk into it. Dang it. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<clears throat> also, like, I haven't talked about what I want out of Grim Dawn in the future. But I would love it if they were to put two classes in that were, like, very specifically made as an Order of Death's Vigil representative and a Kaiman's Chosen representative. Like, that's what I hope the next two masteries are. I know a lot of people have, like, oh, I'd love to see this or that or this or that. That's what mine is. I want a Necromancer and a Paladin. A Cold Vitality Necromancer with a little Aether thrown in. And then a Fire Lightning Paladin. With like maybe a little Bleeding thrown in. There it is. So we got our soul of Mog Dragon. Now we can just we can just barrel on through the exit. So yeah, um Here we go. We we cross this little bridge here and now we're in this upper part. I mean hell, I might even put like I'm, I'm planning on doing some modding for the game, so I might even do those as classes myself. Just put in a Necromancer and a Paladin. Okay, yeah, so here's the big gap I'm talking about that we gotta look for a land bridge across. This would be it, obviously. Um, well, no, I don't... Man, look at all this. Look at all these guys. Yeah, so, um... Okay, yeah. This is, like... The... The whole area is sort of kidney bean-shaped. And then there's this, like, island here. And then there's this little stretch that sort of um, switchbacks a little bit, and you'll come to the second Chitonic Rift. And we're in the Obsidian Throne. I believe there's a one-time chest in here. You'll fight some Void Leeches and, and Gorgers and all of the stuff that you'd expect out of Chitonics. I'm going to do a full explore of this level. <laughs> yeah, and I think this might be the first place you can encounter the Chathonic Vanguard. They're sort of one of those big badass guys, badass guys that the Chathonics have that look awesome. Not as awesome as obsidians. Obsidians are like probably my favorite design enemy in the game. But yeah, they're still pretty cool looking, the Vanguard. This is not the exit we're looking for because there's going to be a boss mob by it. So the one-time chest in this area is in the style of <laughs> it is in the style of the uh, Chathonics. Just a heads up on that. I think it is a random spawn. It's not up by the guy, from what I recall. I mean, it might be up by the guy. I could be totally wrong on that. I've been wrong on that before.
Wasn't wrong this time. I think there's also a little secret side area in here. I don't remember where it is, though. Um, is it right? No. When I say I'm going to be doing a full explore of an area, I goddamn mean I'm doing a full explore of the area. Trust me, that's not the boss. <laughs> boss is purple named. That guy, I think we... You know what? I think that guy was in the other rift before I did the reset. So the boss mob, this place is basically a giant donut. Um, and the boss is in the center of the donut. This guy. <laughs> Thank you, tornadoes. <laughs> yeah, I think there is a little breakaway wall in here somewhere. I just don't remember where. And then you hit the Chathonic Rift up, and I think it'll just spit you out randomly. Oh no, it's it's near where we were. Okay. Um, but before, I'm just gonna try to barrel on through this. Before we head off to do the actual shrine of Magdragon, um, I am gonna run through the rest of the Plains of Strife. I am avoiding the southeast. <laughs> so the the uh, Plains of Strife, they'll have the... Um, they'll actually have, like, mini versions of the Herald of uh, <laughs> Destruction and Herald of Flame in them, which is kind of neat. I, I actually like that as an addition that there are many um, crystal formation bosses, even though they're a pain to fight sometimes. It's a nice little addition. It's a nice little touch for them to throw in there. It adds some variation to the Aether guys you fight as well. Okay. First things first. We're very, very close to that. Two more levels. Might be a replacement. If I could transmog in this game, Gilded Visages would be high on my list of cool helmets. So, Astrakhan Valley we go. And we're going to run to the right. We're going to come up here. I'm going to try to run through this quickly. Grobal effigies, man. I get some crazy ass Grobal effigies. Grobal effigies and gazer's eyes. I have like this most the most insane level 75 gazer eye floating around for a stun jacks demolitionist. 
It's it's really freaking brutal in all honesty. It's like 120 something lightning damage, 50 60 cold damage, stun jacks and flashbangs on it. It's like demolitionists of it wasn't fallen skies, but it was something something kind of along those crazy lines. Okay, so when you have the two pieces of the shrine and an ancient heart, you offer them up. And you gotta fight a crap ton of Chthonics. Like I said, I actually don't mind this fight, really. Um, it's just getting the shrine restored can kind of be a pain in the ass. But yeah, we, we did it. This is pretty much the reason I like this, because it's like guaranteed hordes. So yeah, uh, Avatar of Mog Dragon will show up. You you complete his quest, you get a crap ton of rover rep, um, a devotion point, and some, some components. And you can ask him questions. And one of them... Um, and, and some of the questions, you can actually start antagonizing him to the point where you can fight him. And I'm not going to do it now. I'm actually going to do it as its own independent video with a different character. Because, uh... He's, you know, a god. <laughs> and, you know, godly and godlike. You generally don't screw with gods in video games when they say they're a god. Um, I, however, will on another character. And actually, looking at these two nodes, I might not even bother taking them, in all honesty. It depends. I'll put points in them and then maybe pick up the empty throne. But otherwise, I don't think I need these two because it's just Spirit and Aether Res and an offensive ability and absorption. I don't really care for those. So I might just leave it as those two in there. And maybe hop on um, Solemn Watcher here. We'll see. It's a little up in the air as what we can do with our devotion. So anyways, um, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time for tackling the Necropolis.